Hello Tornado lovers. Had a request to do a couple uh, more informative videos on my Tornado. So let me just touch on a few things, a few questions that have come up. One of the questions is, what wheels are you running? Well these are Grand Cherokee wheels. I can't remember the exact year. I want to say around 2004, but I could be wrong there. Don't quote me on that. They are a 17 inch wheel. They don't directly bolt on. The center hole is the pilot hole, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit too small. That needs to be opened up. It is the right bolt pattern, so that's convenient. The offset's not too bad, and I did have to clearance the spokes to clear the fins on the drums. <clears throat> I was able to run a 245, oh, whatever size this is, 245-50-17. And I'm pretty happy with that because it's a lot better than the pizza cutters that uh, were originally on the car. Definitely gives it a better stance, better attitude. So here's a quick walk around. As you can see, the car is patinaed and rough. It's kind of a, I don't know if it, you would call it a survivor or whatever, but it's an unrestored uh, paint. Has a little bit of minor rust here and there, but real minor stuff. Um, So the next thing I wanted to touch on real quick is a little bit more information about what's underneath the hood. The original block was used, which is a 425. I'm going to open up the hood as I'm talking here. And the crank was replaced with a 455 crank and it was bored. So it's a 461 cubic inch engine. Went with aluminum heads. I did work the heads over a little bit and with that fairly healthy roller cam and the intake manifold is a torquer and the intake was milled down about an inch and a quarter and the angle was taken out of the carburetor flange because the Tornado engines do not angle back like a rear wheel drive engine does. I also put an FI Tech throttle body on top uh, it was kind of recycled from a friend of mine's project. He wasn't happy with it, so sent it to FI Tech, and they did some upgrades, and we're going to give it a try, see how it works out. The fuel command center, or whatever FI Tech calls it, I was able to hide back inside the fender behind the battery. You can see that the pressure gauge is there. Uh, fuel lines are going in there. That's about the only thing that really jumps out at you as this not being a carbureted car. Uh, there's AC on here. I proudly got that working today. And the air cleaner is a conversation piece. Uh, because of the limited hood clearance, I wasn't uh, able to get enough air cleaner and a lid on all at the same time. So I'm using my flat hood as the air cleaner lid. Seals against this foam here. And so far, so good. I did add a screen to keep, uh, you know, big debris or bolts or anything that might be flying around while the hood's open from dropping inside there. On the inside, one of the features I always love to point out about a Tornado Deluxe, this is a Deluxe feature, a, a door handle for the back seat occupants. Power windows. This car did not originally have power seat, but I added it and I put it in where the later model controllers are. Normally in a 66, it would be located up here next to the power window switches. Uh, the tack is out of a Jeep CJ. I built the oil pressure gauge out of a fuel gauge. There are no Tornados that came from the factory with oil pressure gauges. They were all idiot lights. I added this switch to control my switch pitch torque converter, which we can talk about a little later in the video. But basically, I got three settings. That would be the high setting, low, and automatic. Uh, temporary switch here. I'm running a little booster pump just until I get everything sorted out. 
see if I, I may be able to eliminate this. Here's the FI tech. And we turn that on. Of course, you don't have to turn it on to, before you start it, but just for the heck of it. Just a couple of uh, readouts that I chose from the menu. Let's have a listen to this thing. I'm not making you dizzy. All right. And I think that was the... Oh, yeah. My console. It's my console armrest. Normally this is just a big chunk of foam. I created a frame, had it reupholstered, put some cup holders in there. Folds up. Looks very inconspicuous while it's up. Pretty satisfied with the way that came out, and let's talk about the switch pitch torque converter for another minute here. This is the switch that controls the torque converter, also controls the uh, downshift also, but at idle and at three quarters throttle or a little bit more from there up, uh, it goes into a high stall so that you don't creep at stoplights and that you have better performance at full throttle. And then, of course, I can override that with the switch that I added. And I think that's all the all the major points I wanted to touch on. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Put the hood down. Power antenna. Gotta love it. All right, guys.